Hello and welcome to this SAS companion for lecture three, post hoc testing. Now remember, post hoc testing really belongs only in the exploratory phase of your data analysis or if you're learning about your process. If you are in the confirmatory stage, that means you've already got hypotheses to look at and to test, which means you won't be doing any of this. Again, post hoc analysis should only be done if you have no idea beforehand of the relationship amongst your variables, which is not a good position to be in. Um, so I'm going to co just copy and paste from earlier. Um, here's the data. This is the meat data. Um, and there's our GLM running this. Should give us uh, the standard analysis variance package is the class, it's the categorical variable. There's four levels, values 1, 2, 3, and 4. Capital N is 12. Since capital N is 12, the corrected total is 11. There's four levels, so the degrees of freedom for model is 4 minus 1. The error is everything that's left over. We've calculated all these before. Um, the mean squared error, the book refers to as mean squared within. Uh, mean squared model, the book refers to as mean squared between. So nothing here should be new. Uh, you've seen this in, in the SAS companion for lectures 1 and 2. The new part here is we are now going to uh, do post hoc testing. Um, post hoc testing takes place um, on the means statement. And we've seen the means statement before. We saw it in lecture two, uh, in the SAS lecture two. Um, the, the the word is means followed by the class. Previously, we followed that by HOV test equals Levine. However, uh, semicolon. We're not doing homogeneity of variance tests here. We're doing the post hoc testing. Now in the lecture, the actual lecture itself, we covered five different post hoc tests, the Fisher LSD test, the Tukey HSD test, Duncan's multiple range test, Chaffee's test, and then the Bonfroni test. And I'm just going to show you how in SAS you can uh, do all those tests. Uh, for Fisher's LSD test, you just use LSD. And it gives us back the original, all the ANOVA stuff. And the last page is the is the new stuff, really. And we're told what the alpha level was, um, error degrees of freedom, mean squared, error, mean squared error. These come from the ANOVA table. Critical value of t, that comes from the alpha and from the tables in the back of the book. And the least significant difference, um, we calculated this by hand. Remember, if two sample means differ by more than this, then we conclude that their population means differ. And so the new stuff kind of is this bottom table. Um, there's a f three columns to pay attention to. This, OK, four columns. Um, here, this is a sample size in each level. We know it's three. We ensured that it was a balanced design. The last column is the uh, package, packaging type. Um, one, three, two, and four. Four was, uh, I believe, mixed gases. The grouping is important. Um, any two levels that share a common letter, we did not detect a difference between. In this case, their sample means differed by less than 0.609. So here, package type 1 and package type 3, we did not detect a difference in their population means because they both share the letter A. Package type 2 we were able to detect a difference between it and anything else because no, none of the others have a B in them, just package type 2. And package type 4, we also were able to detect a difference between it and everything else because nothing else has a C. So we were not able to detect a difference between the mean log bacteria count for packaging type 1 and 3, but we were able to distinguish the others. Um, notice a sample mean for the mixed gases, the packaging type 4 is the lowest. And we've detected, we are able to conclude that the population mean differs from all the others. Therefore, we are able to conclude that the population mean 
in terms of log count of bacteria is less than all the others. So we required two things there. One, that it was different from all the others, and two, that the sample mean was less. Okay, that's the LSD test. Second one is going to be the two keys HSD test. The option is just two key. Notice there's no R there. And we get the same stuff back in the last page is most important. Again, alpha, error degrees of freedom, mean squared error. There's the critical value from the studentized range, which is the function of alpha, and we got that from the back of the book, and there's a minimum significant difference. On the board, we call that the HSD. Here, SAS likes to call it the MSD. When sample means differ by at least 0.89, we conclude that the population means are significantly different. And then the table at the bottom looks very similar to the previous one. Um, we did not detect a difference between packaging types 1 and 3. We did detect a difference between 2 and everything else, and we detected a difference between 4 and everything else. Packaging type 4 had the lowest sample mean, and it was different from everything else. There we, therefore, we can conclude that the mixed gases, which is packaging type 4, has the lowest population mean of log bacteria count of these four. So again, it required two things. One, different from everything else, and two, sample mean was the lowest. Let's contrast that with trying to see which is the highest. The sample mean for the highest is the packaging type 1, but we did not detect a difference between packaging type 1 and 3. Therefore, we cannot conclude that the population mean for package 1 is the highest because we didn't detect a difference between the population mean for type 1 and type 2. I'm sorry, type 1 and type 3. So Fisher's LSD test was LSD. Tukey's HSD was Tukey. Duncan is just going to be Duncan. And that last page is going to look pretty familiar. Alpha, error degrees of freedom, mean squared error. Here's the critical ranges for each of the and notice that this is a function of how far apart the means are being when they're ranked. We calculated these on the board so you know where they came from. Here we got those results in how fast did it take for us to get those results? Um, 0.35 seconds. So SAS works a little bit faster than I do. And again, the interpretation here is the same. If the levels share a letter, they're not significantly different. If they don't, then they are. And again, uh, packaging type 4, which is mixed gas, has the lowest sample mean and is significantly different in terms of population mean from everything else. Therefore, we can conclude that the population mean, log count of bacteria, for packaging type 4, mixed gases, is the lowest. Um, Next one was Shafe, I believe, S-C-H-E-F-F-E. -E. Did I spell it right? It went blue, so I guess I spelled it right. So this will be the Shafe test. We've calculated the minimum significant difference here again. Um, and the table has the same interpretation, so nothing new here. And the last thing we're going to look at is the Bonferroni which is just B-O-N. And again, gives us information that looks very familiar. Same interpretation on this table, and same information. Remember that critical value of T is based on the T table, but also on the Bonferroni adjusted alpha. So this is not the T value corresponding to an alpha of 0.05. It's a T value corresponding to 0.05 adjusted for the number of tests. So 0.05 divided by 6. Again, it's the alpha that's divided by the 6, not the T value. And actually, that's it. So we have uh, did what we did on the board. That one only took uh, 0.29 seconds. So what we did on the board, we just did in SAS, a lot faster, a lot easier. Um, I showed you the five that we did on the board. Remember, Tukey and Duncan 
are really the only two that you should be paying attention to in real life. Um, and during the lecture, I, sp I told you which one was appropriate at which time. And it had to do with how important saving alpha was versus how important the power was. Um, remember, there's two types of errors. There's the type 1 error that's related to alpha and the type 2 error that's related to beta. And 1 minus beta is the power. So figure out Tukey or Duncan, and it depends on whether you want to save alpha or beta. And that's it. So hopefully this was helpful. Take care.